hello students in this video we'll discuss about to find the rank of the matrix so here i have taken one example find the rank of the matrix given with the elements 2 1 minus 1 3 1 2 4 3 3 6 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 
zero after taking minus three common, it is one three one. And also note that this is the zero row, so I'll interchange R three and R four also. So this will be zero minus one minus three minus one. Here it is zero 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 zero. Now to reduce this matrix to the upper triangular matrix, note that we need to reduce this minus one as zero with the help of the element one. So that will be R three changes to R three plus R two. They are of the different sign, so therefore we'll go for adding them. It is one, two, four, three, zero, one, three, one, zero, zero. See that minus one, minus one, one minus one will be zero. Three plus three minus three will be zero. One minus one that also will be zero, and already the third row, fourth row is equal to zero. Now here non the number of non-zero rows. So this is the matrix in the uh, form of upper triangular matrix. Number of non-zero rows are equal to two. So here non-zero rows means that the the rows which are containing the elements. So the rank of the matrix here the number of non-zero rows are Two, so therefore, the rank of the matrix A is equal to two. We'll take one more similar kind of the example. So this is the given matrix A. So let me take this matrix as A is equal to. Now here, since the elements are the bigger numbers. I'll reduce first this matrix to the the elements to the smaller number. Note that the differences between the rows is the same. So as we have to use R1 for the first transformations, so I will take R2 changes to R2 minus R1. Similarly, R3 will change as R3 minus R1, and R4 will change as R four minus R one. So that matrix after the transformation, it is eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So the differences between these rows is one. So it is one, and here it is the difference is equal to. So this is minus one. Sorry, this is plus one. Now the differences between R three and R one it is two, and the difference between R four and R one is three. Now note we can take the two common from the third row and three common from the fourth row. So it is R two changes to one by two of R two, and R three will change as Here it is R three will change as one by two of R three and R four will change as one by three of R four. It is eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one, 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 one. Yeah. So this is the matrix which we have to reduce this to the echelon form. Or the upper triangular matrix. So to reduce this matrix to the upper triangular matrix, so we'll go for changing R three, R three as R three will reduce this matrix to upper triangular matrix so that we can do it by the transformation r2 changes to will change r3 and r4 as r3 changes to r3 minus r2 and here r4 will change as r4 minus r2 so we'll get the matrix 
लेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन वन टू थ्री फोर जैसे वन 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 दीज आर रिमेंट्स आर जीरो Now to reduce this matrix to echelon form, we'll re transform that R two as R two eleven into R two minus R one eleven twelve thirteen fourteen. So here it is zero eleven into R two. It will be eleven. So it is minus one. Here it is minus two. This is minus three. The remaining elements are zero. So this is the reduced echelon form. The number of non-zero rows in this matrix are equal to two. So these are the non-zero rows. They are two in number. So therefore, the rank of the matrix A is equal to. Thank you for watching